hi good afternoon everyone so today beta i am going to discuss about uh, getting admission for ma economics at presidency university now uh, the presidency university actually conducts an exam through the west bengal jee board or it's also known as pumdet exam right in which you need to go ahead and give an exam for uh, your ma in applied economics Right, beta. Okay. Now, uh, this exam is going to be completely MCQ based paper. There will be fifty questions, which will be each of two marks. So, over and above, this is going to be a hundred marks paper. You would be given one fourth for negative. Uh, one by four would be your negative marking, and uh, it would be a ninety minute paper. The exam would be based on your OMR sheets. and the date of exam this year is 28th july 2024 i want to go ahead and i want to discuss what all you need to go ahead and prepare for this exam and what is going to be the syllabus for this exam the syllabus is a uh, very very similar to what we have been doing for other entrance exams so it is going to go ahead and include microeconomics in which whatever you have studied in your undergrad should be enough so you need to study consumer theory producer theory general equilibrium you need to go ahead and you need to study topics like welfare economics you need to go ahead and you need to study topics like externality public goods asymmetric information that's the first aspect then after doing microeconomics the second thing that you need to focus on is going to be macroeconomics in macroeconomics again whatever we have done till now is the for other entrance exam it is going to go ahead and it is going to remain the same so you need to go ahead and you need to focus on national income is curve lm curve you need to focus on fiscal and government uh, fiscal policy multiplier tax multiplier balanced budget multiplier balanced budget multiplier you need to focus on monetary policy multiplier right then you need to also go ahead and you need to do some part of the open economy that can also be asked in exam third thing you need to go ahead and you need to focus on mme mathematical economics in which you need to know very well what is uh, limit continuity set theory differentiation and integration then you need to go ahead and you need to focus uh, fourthly on your statistics in which again you need to do mean median mode hypothesis testing you need to also go ahead and you need to focus a bit on your probability which is a very common topic in exam especially the bayes theorem at last fifth you need to go ahead and you need to focus on econometrics right you need to know what is ols what is blue parameters what is blue parameters you need to know what are the assumptions of the clrm model and what happens when these assumptions are violated let me go ahead and let me discuss few of the questions that can be asked in exam so from the point of view of exam um let's take some questions so for example if i just go ahead and i give you a cost function right say q cube minus 10 q square plus 17 q plus 66 and i go ahead and i ask you that uh, you're given that the price of the good is 5 find profit maximizing output of the economy so we know that we can form a profit function profit is going to be total revenue minus total cost total revenue will be price into quantity total cost will be q cube minus 10 q square plus 17 q plus 66 so this is going to be 5 q minus q cube plus 10 q square minus 17 q plus 66 and if you need to go ahead and you need to maximize the profit the profit can be maximized when you can just differentiate this function with respect to q this will give you 5 minus 3q square plus 20q minus 17 is equal to 0 so this will give you 3q square minus 20q minus 17 plus 5 is minus 12 
plus 12 is equal to 0. And now you can just go ahead and make its factors. So 12 into 3 beta is 36. Just make the factors of 36 such that you go ahead and you get a 20, right? So 9 into 4 is 36. 12 into 3 is 36. And... Two into ten, oh sorry, two into eighteen is thirty six. So you can just factor this out. Minus eighteen q minus two q plus twelve is equal to zero. Take two uh, three q common six uh, q minus six. Take two common q minus six is equal to zero. Three q minus two q minus six is equal to zero. So you will get two values of q, 2 by 3 and 6. Now what you can do is just find out the double derivative beta because we need to maximize this. So I need to find the double derivative. So when I will be finding the double derivative, this will be 6q minus 20. And you will notice that when I will be plugging value of q as 2 by 3, when I will be plugging value of q as 2 by 3, right, then I will be getting negative. And when I will be plugging value of Q as 6, then I will be getting positive. So since I am interested in profit maximization, not minimization, so I need to maximize. So that takes place whenever the double derivative is negative. And that would be the answer to this question. So this kind of questions can be asked in exam and you need to be very thorough with them, right? Okay, so now the second kind of question which can be asked in exam right beta that can be related to say your Kurno uh, uh, model oligopoly Kurno uh, Bertrand etc stackle birth right so for example if I just go ahead and I tell you that you have your quantity function given to you as 100 minus p into 2 and you're given the first cost function as 5q1 and the second cost function as 0.5q2 and I ask you find q1 if firm 1 is the leader. That means I am talking about Stackelberg model. Now in exam you will not have time to go ahead and solve this thoroughly. So one thing is if you already remember the formulas that I have taught you. If not then you need to actually go ahead and you need to follow the process of going and doing backward induction. Which means you will be solving the profit function of firm 2 first. So profit function of firm 2 will be so from here, you will be able to find out that P will be 100 minus Q by 2. So you can write down the price function. Multiply it with quantity of firm 2. Subtract the cost function of firm 2. Right. You can just maximize this profit function with respect to Q2. So when you will be doing this, you will be getting Q1 as a function of Q2. Reversely, you can rewrite this thing in a better way. So you will be getting Q2 as a function of Q1, right? When you will be maximizing this, differentiating it and equating it to zero, you will go ahead and get Q2 as a function of Q1. So once you get Q2 as a function of Q1, right, you will be putting this in the profit function of firm 1. You remember this? We have done this multiple times in class beta. I'm not going to repeat it again and again. We have already done this multiple, multiple times. So minus 5q1. So instead of q2 here, you will replace whatever you get from here. So your entire function will be in terms of q1. Then you will be differentiating this with respect to q1, equating it to 0 and getting q1 star. So this kind of question can be asked in exam. Then you can have a question which can go ahead and which can say, so for example, you know, if I just give you a question on Bertrand model, right? And I tell you that uh, the output produced in Bertrand model, the output produced in Kurno model, huh, which is greater, whether the output of Bertrand is greater or Kurno is greater, 
that can be asked in exam. Then I just forgot to mention in microeconomics, there will be questions on game theory also. In microeconomics, there will be question on game theory also. So for example, right, if I just tell you that these are the actions taken by firm 1, A, B and C. And I tell you that these are the actions taken by firm 2, which is going to be C, D, uh, uh, E, say D, E, F, D, E and F. And I give you the payoffs. So I tell you 4, 2, 13, 6, 1, 3, 3, 10, 0, 0, 15, 2, 12, 14, 4, 11, 5, 4. So what I have done is I have gone ahead and I have given you these payoffs. And now I'm asking you find the Nash equilibrium. So you should be knowing how to go ahead and how to find the Nash equilibrium in such models. Right. So we see that there will be two Nash equilibria, AE and CD. This kind of questions you need to do. You need to do forms of market very well. So in forms of market, monopoly, monopolistic, oligopoly, monopsony, all of them needs to be done well. When it comes to microeconomics, make sure that within consumer theory, within consumer theory, you revise Slutsky equation also. And you revise uncertainty also, right? So in uncertainty, you make sure that you revise what is risk averse individuals, what are risk lover individuals, right? How to find certainty equivalent that can be asked in exam. Okay. Now coming forward, you need to go ahead and you need to do uh, what are monotonic transformations? What is elasticity of substitution? That also needs to be done well. So for example, if I just give you that Y is equal to K, A X1 to the power rho, plus 1 minus a x2 to the power rho to the power 1 by rho, then we know that when rho is 1, we will get Cobb-Douglas isochords. Right? Then elasticity of substitution is 1. We will go ahead and we will get Cobb-Douglas isochords. I will not write rho. I will write sigma. We know when elasticity of substitution is 1, we will get Cobb-Douglas isochords. And Cobb Douglas isochords actually go ahead and mean that they are convex isochords. We know that when elasticity of substitution is zero, we will get L shaped isochords. We know that when elasticity of substitution is infinite, we will get linear isochords, straight line isochords. So, how can you relate, question, how can you relate the elasticity of substitution to this row? Huh? This also you have to be aware about. So they will ask you the relation between rho and the shape of the isochorns. So that is something that you need to know. You need to know what is subgame perfect Nash equilibria and how is subgame Nash equilibrium different from the actual Nash equilibrium that we go ahead and study, right? You need to know what is first welfare theorem, what is second welfare theorem, right? So this is also something that can be asked. Now, if I just go ahead and I uh, ask you about ASAD model, so you should know what is the slope of AD, how it is affected by IS curve slope and LM curve slope. You should be well aware about fiscal and monetary policy multiplier and when these are effective. This can be asked in exam, right? Similarly, something that all of you have to be aware about is index number. Index number can also be asked in exam. You need to be very clear with the three kind of policies, which is going to be interest rate policies, which comes up with the Taylor rule, right? Then inflation targeting policy and monetary rule policies, right? So you have to be aware about these policies also. What is policy trilemma? You have to be aware about this. What are the different kind of unemployments, frictional, structural? What are the different kind of inflation, cost, uh, cost push, demand? All this you have to be aware about. What is Mundale Fleming model? What is J curve? Right? That too should be aware about. Right? How is uh, the, uh, you know, how is the fiscal policy multiplier affected during open economy? 
right? Whether the AD curve becomes flatter or steeper when we compare closed economy versus open economy, right? Then in macroeconomics, I left a very important point. Please make a note of this. In macroeconomics, you have to be aware about different consumption and investment theories. In investment theory, one very common theory is Tobin's Q theory. So all of you have to go ahead and revise Tobin's Q theory that can be asked in exam. As far as statistics is concerned, as I told you, different probability distributions can also be asked. So you can go ahead and you can be asked binomial. You can be asked normal. So you need to go ahead and do those also well. During, uh, you know, in this OLS, you can be asked what happens when there is heteroscedasticity in the model, when there is multicollinearity in the model, when there is autocorrelation in the model. So that kind of data, uh, I mean, that kind of uh, uh, topics are also important from the point of view of exam. What is type 1 error and type 2 error is also important. At least the definition, you need to revise the definition well. In probability, the definitions like mutually exclusive, mutually um, uh, 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 mutually exclusive, then independent, exhaustive, ye tino definition, you need to go ahead and do those well, right? So that is it about your exam beta. For example, here in autocorrelation, you can also be asked questions on Durbin, Watson test, how to go ahead and create that, that this is between 0 to 2, then between not 0 to 2, sorry, 0 to uh, lower limit, upper limit to 4 minus upper limit, 4 minus lower limit and 4. And here the null is rejected and not rejected and not rejected and indecisive. So, ye D wala pura value, what is the range and what it means at different intervals, you need to go ahead and do those well. You have to be very clear with some of the formulas. Like for example, if I go ahead and tell you that X and Y are independent and I ask you to find the covariance between X plus Y comma X minus Y when X and Y are independent. So how do we find covariance? How we link each element to each element? You need to be aware about that also. At last, please do some development models too. So go ahead and do Lewis model, do solo model, and do hierodromal model. Right, Bidam? So that is it that I wanted to go ahead and discuss today. This is your syllabus for your MA Economics entrance exam, which gives you admission at Presidency University. Thank you, Bidam.